Welcome back to another cool tool show and tell. Today, my special guest joining us once again is Tyler Weingartner. Tyler is a video producer, an editor, a videographer, and a maker specializing in digital fabrication and electronics. Tyler, thanks for joining us again. And what did you bring to show us this time? All right, so I've got kind of two different versions of a thing to show you because uh, I think both are useful, uh, but they are small tabletop or portable tripods uh, from a product family called the UltraPod. Um, and they fold up really nicely. Like you see here, I'm going to show most of it um, just with the, the little one here. But it has this Velcro strap that we'll talk about in just a moment. Uh, but it quickly folds out into uh, a quick tabletop tripod. It's got this um, mount at the top that you can unlock. And then it's got a little ball joint on both sides so you can fit it that onto your camera. The really cool thing about these is, like I mentioned, this Velcro strap that you can use this to, basically it has, it's got little grippy feet and in this sort of right angle channel here. What you can do with this is you, if you want to attach your camera to a railing or a post or lots of other things you can find when you, if you want to set up your camera and you're out in the world somewhere, remember going out in the world, um, <laughs> then you can use this Velcro strap to attach it pretty securely um, to uh, whatever you can find out in the world uh, to attach your camera to. Yeah. Um, the pretty common, the, the product that most people are pretty familiar with that's sort of a quick analog to this is, uh, I think you're, you were just showing me one of these, is you know, the, the gorilla pod. Right. And the gorilla pod I think is great for, look, I just want to plunk a camera or whatever down on a table and just have it sit there on the table and get a little bit of, uh, you know, support and, and aimability to it. But where I always struggle with these is like I was just mentioning, when you want to attach these to something like a post or a tree branch or a pole I just never feel good about these. I feel like I wrap these arms around it and then I just don't feel good about taking my hands off the camera because it feels like it's going to fall or slide down. And I don't have this, the worry with, with these. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm able to attach it to something like that and feel good about leaving, you know, whether it's my, my mobile phone camera that I want to leave it there for 10 minutes. So I capture a quick time lapse or a GoPro or whatever. Um, you know, so that's what this the the UltraPod, the small one, which is called the UltraPod, uh, is good for is smaller cameras like GoPros or you know your mobile phone or or whatever relatively small action camera that you have on hand. Um, the UltraPod two is quite a bit bigger, um, and this is stable enough that you can pretty comfortably attach like a lightweight DSLR or mirrorless camera to it. Um, it's I don't know. I want to say like this is like seven or eight inches long. Um, and then when you deploy it, the tripod legs, it sits, um, I don't know, probably takes almost like a, a one foot radius on whatever you're setting it on. Um, and it's got a, a chunkier, you know, bigger, heavier duty uh, dual ball mo mount here to attach your camera to. Um, the thing I don't like about the UltraPod 2 is the way it does have this sort of buckle set up here for the the the, uh, the, the Velcro strap. Mm -hmm. But the way they've laid out the Velcro means that if you're trying to wrap it around something relatively small, um, like maybe a two-inch bar or something like that, you don't end up getting a lot of Velcro engagement here. Um, still, if you get it tight enough, you can get enough on there that you can feel pretty good about putting a camera on there. And uh, But yeah, so uh, this is my favorite real world solution for um being able to like put cameras you know mount cameras in places you know when i'm out like out in the world like i normally again back when we used to go out and go places <laughs> and i would carry a bag with me i would generally have one of these small ones in a lightweight foldable um mobile phone mount you know so that if i was somewhere and there's like cool and interesting cloud movement i could quickly and easily set these up for like a quick time lapse or something like that and uh yeah, it takes up almost no space in your bag and uh, holds your camera really securely, which I like. Yeah. Well, Tyler, another great recommendation. And I think the price is really great for these. Again, like I always feel like I'm shop when I'm shopping for the Gorilla, gorilla Pods, 
I feel like I'm getting scammed and I don't want to buy the cheap ones because I also don't want them to fall apart. Something like this uh, is a really great alternative to those, those pod systems. All right, thanks again for the recommendation. You can find more tools like this at cool-tools.org and you can find links to both these products down in the description. Tyler, thanks again. Thanks again. Take care, Donald, and uh, we'll talk again soon.